Hello and welcome to this quick little tutorial on how you can extract the photos from your Tricio Lite 2 onto your desktop using a Tricio factory application. So first things first, plug that Tricio Lite 2 into your computer and power it on. The next step is go to Tricio.com, scroll to the bottom of the page, and you'll see an, a, a link called Downloads, as you see here. Click that, and it's going to bring you to the download page where you choose which version you need. Now, grab the download that you need, whether you're running Windows or Mac. Click the Download button, and go ahead and get that installed, and open it up. Okay, now that you have your Tricio Lite camera plugged in, you should see over here, if you're running a Mac, you should get a drive that pops up that says no name. And if you're running a Windows a desktop or laptop, it should just show up as well in Explorer as being no name. So now that you know that it's connected and you're able to access it, you wanna open up your Tricio factory desktop app once you have downloaded it. And in here, it's really pretty simple. It's a very, very simple process. Now you have two different options here to choose from. You can choose the, for the app to actually stitch the photos, or you can extract the photos themselves. And what that does is it takes the four fisheye photos that it takes and gives you just that, just the four fisheye photos, not stitched or anything. That way you can actually stitch and a third party application, which I will go into here shortly. But for this, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need to do. And this should be pretty much the same for a Windows PC. Right down here, you're gonna see save to wherever. So you can choose the location of where you wanna save your photos. So choose that, choose a directory that you prefer and come up here to stitch pictures. Now you're gonna notice that when you're in here, you are not going to see a date added on here. Uh, at least on the Mac, you're not going to see that. However, the image name, the file name, is going to give you the date. And if we come down here, you'll see that we have 2022-0809, which is August 9th, 2022. So you know that these are your latest photos that you've taken. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to grab just randomly one of these for my latest virtual tour that I did. And I'm going to click open. And now it's going to go through and stitch it. On my Mac, it generally takes, I'd say, less than a minute, maybe a minute to do. And there you go. And you can click right here and view pictures. And it's going to open up the folder that you've chosen to save it to. And it's going to be titled whatever you have on there. So for me, when I do these virtual tours, I always put the address in for the title so that it actually creates a, a folder and a name and all that fun stuff and it works fantastic. So as you can see, I actually named them in the app as I was going and it even puts it into here for when you stitch through here. So let's just open up bedroom here. And as you can see, Here's the photo, it's all perfectly stitched and ready to roll. And that's it. From here, you would just go into doing your regular editing and then uploading it into teleportme.com to create your virtual tour. Now, if you wanna do manual stitching, we can simply go right into extract pictures. And scroll down to the latest randomly grab one here and hit open. And pretty much the way that this works is it's going to split off that one JPEG file that Tricio puts onto the camera and it's gonna split it into the four pieces. And you can go into view pictures. Again, it's gonna be original pictures is gonna be what it's gonna be under as the, the, the main folder. And then inside there, it's gonna have the address or whatever you titled your your virtual tour and as you can see right here here is 
the fisheye photo for doing it manually. Now, a lot of people use PT GUI, fantastic program, probably one of the best out there, but I don't use that. I use Panorama Studio Pro, and I'm gonna show you right here how easy it is to do that in here. So you simply just select the four photos, drag and drop, and you wanna come up here to images and hit rotate left. Click on a line. And pretty much everything is gonna line up. I always hit use focal length. It doesn't have a camera profile in here, but it still seems to work perfectly. And I have not had a problem yet. And here we go, it's gonna give you a quick little preview of it. And then you just click render. And it's gonna go through and render. Panorama Studio Pro works pretty fast, as you can see. And here is your finished panorama. And you can just simply come up here and click Create Projection. And you can scroll around and take a look at everything. And I have not yet once ever using this program or using the Tricio factory or simply the on camera stitching. Have I ever once had a stitching error? This camera is very, very tuned in and does an amazing job with capturing the photos and making it very, very easy to create a perfect 360 panorama. And that's it. I hope this helps and have a great day.